Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to add some clarity on how the profile selector works and what those pack names and profile numbers mean. Let's begin. To start, the link has four purposes you can roast for. These purposes are cupping, espresso, filter, and omni. The cupping profiles best suit any coffee that will be cupped. Espresso profiles best suit any coffee that will be extracted through an espresso machine or most pressurized extraction methods. Filter profiles best suit coffees brewed by any immersion or drip filter methods. Omni profiles should be looked at as a universal profile that can be manipulated to suit any purpose of use. Adjusting longer or shorter developments can allow this profile to suit either espresso, filter, or even milk base uses. With the purposes clear, let us look deeper into what choices are available for each of these roast purposes. In the V3 Profile Pack, 10 profile styles can be selected from these 10 options. Five are different cupping curves. These cupping curves differ from each other for three reasons. First, from the rate and amount of heat applied during the mallard phase. Second, the target first crack time and lastly, the desired development percent post-crack. Note that all five cupping curves have a similar total duration of roast time. The reason there are five different cupping styles is to allow a simple plug and play profile selection of a roast approach best suited to the style of process and coffee variety you're looking to sample roast. With cupping covered, let's take a look at the other styles. From the remaining five options, Three profiles are roast curves dedicated to best suit filter brewing. Similarly to the cupping profiles, these three filter curves also differ from each other. The differences from each are seen through changes in the amount of heat applied during the mallard phase. The fact that all three filter curves have different target times when the first crack occurs. And the last difference between them is that all three filter curves have different roast time durations. Each of these aspects allows the profiling system more choice. So a more tailored curve selection can be made to best accommodate the right roast approach for any variety or process styles you may want to prepare for filter brewing. Additionally, filter curves offer more encouragement for the user input. This input recommends the user to edit the amount of the roast spent in the development stage based on the user's tastes. To assist in this decision, suggested ranges to work in for each coffee are provided by the Link app when doing a new sample entry. When combining all these variables, having only three different styles of filters was deemed adequate to have all of your brewing needs covered. Now, with eight of the 10 options covered, Let's look at the remaining two styles and their purpose. The remaining two options are split equally through an espresso approach and an omni approach. It's important to note that in the next V4 update, this will include three curve options for the espresso space. These three curves will have the same differentiating variables as what was just discussed in the filter profiles. But for now, in the V3 profile pack versions, both Espresso and Omni curve styles have one curve each. Both styles are designed to be manipulated through the development percent stage to suit the user's taste, allowing adequate variation for differences in processing style and variety to be adjusted for by increasing or decreasing the development percent to better guide users. The development percent amount for each will be recommended by a suggested range to work in via the Link app's new sample entry solutions. Now, with the 10 options of roast profiles covered, let's jump into the power curves, or what is often referred to as a profile number. Although there are only 10 profile designs which are often referred to as profile packs, did you know that each of these designs has between 41 to 46 different versions? These profile numbers can range from 194 to 225. 
each of these power curve numbers increases in value in increments of 0.5. The most important aspect of each number is that these numbers relate to different power curve versions of the same 10 core profile designs we spoke about earlier in the video. In the current V3 system, there are over 450 individual profile curves over all roast styles. These different profile numbers of each of the 10 profiles relate to the power curve needed to have the right heat energy applied throughout the roast. This means that regardless of density, process, or variety, all coffees have the right heat applied at the right times to have the roast phases all occur at the correct time for the style of the curve that has been selected. The power curve number needed for your profile largely relates to the volume by weight density reading you enter when making a new sample entry. This volume by weight density number allows your coffee to be compared against the data pool of previous roasts the algorithm draws its decision making from. This allows the most accurate power curve for the roast style selected to be suggested by the link algorithm. This recommendation is believed to achieve all of the intended roast phases and parameters as close to the default reference as possible, right from your first roast. It is important to note here that between the four different roast styles and even between the different packs within the same roast style, the power curve numbers suggested may differ. Even when roasting the same coffee, the reason different power curves are needed for different profile packs or profile styles is to adjust for the known differences between each profile style's preset parameters. Whether being for phase timing or when the heat application is needed, all these subtle differences are known by the link algorithm. And subsequently, it will recommend the power curve for that profile, which is believed to achieve the best roast results. A frequently asked question amendment will be created on the Nucleus Coffee Tools website for any user wanting to know what power curve increase or decrease is needed for each pack if they want to operate independently from the app suggested pack. And that is a wrap. I hope this video helps to clear up some of the logic behind how the link operates. As always, happy roasting.